Ready for some exciting Marvel updates? Kevin Feige, the mastermind behind Marvel Studios, just dropped some juicy details in a chat with io9, celebrating the upcoming release of Deadpool and Wolverine on July 26. Imagine Spider-Man, no way home but with a sprinkle of mutants, that's what Deadpool and Wolverine is bringing to the table. This multiverse extravaganza is set to have a colossal impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially with the introduction of the X-Men. So, what did Feige spill about the future of these beloved characters and the next Spider-Man movie? Regarding our favorite web-slinger, Feige confirmed that he and Amy Pascal are deep in the planning stages for the next Tom Holland Spider-Man film. We have writers who are going to be delivering us a draft relatively soon, Feige shared, so rest assured, Spidey fans, more adventures are on the way. Now, on to the X-Men. With so many iconic characters in the franchise's history, how is Marvel deciding who makes the cut for their MCU debut? Feige described it as an embarrassment of riches. He explained, there are a lot of great X-Men characters in the Deadpool and Wolverine film, in all the Fox versions, and many that have never made it to the big screen. We're likely to see a mix of familiar faces and new ones, just like we did with Spider-Man. Feige also highlighted the success of X-Men 97 and how it reignited fans' passion for the mutants. Seeing people reconnect with that world and its soap opera elements is incredibly exciting as we prepare to bring the X-Men into the MCU. You. So, gear up, Marvel fans. Deadpool and Wolverine are hitting theaters on July 26. Meanwhile, Marvel fans, gather round because we've got some electrifying news straight from the Marvel cosmos. Kevin Feige, the mastermind behind Marvel Studios, has just confirmed that the long-awaited Nova project is officially in the works and it's coming to your screens as a TV show. In an exclusive chat with comic book's Brandon Davis, Feige revealed that the cosmic hero Richard Rider, better known as Nova, is on his way to the MCU. But don't get too excited just yet. We'll have to wait about three to four years before we see Nova's dazzling debut. Feed shared that the Nova project is indeed happening and, you guessed it, it's going to be a TV series. It's happening. It's coming together. Richard Ryder, yep, Feige confirmed. When asked about the format, Feige enthusiastically clarified, a show, yeah, yeah. So, why the long wait? Marvel's head of streaming, animation, and television, Brad Winderbaum, had previously hinted at this cosmic adventure, saying, we love Nova. We are in really early development on Nova. He also mentioned that Marvel Studios is operating more like a traditional studio now, developing more projects than they actually produce. Winderbaum added, the world is always chaos. There's always things. You gotta conjure these things to make them happen. And speaking of cosmic adventures, fans were surprised when Nova didn't make it into the Avengers, Infinity War or any Guardians of the Galaxy films, especially considering the Nova Corps' interactions with the Guardians. James Gunn, the visionary behind the Guardians franchise, explained his reasoning, saying, I didn't want to have two human beings. I wanted to have one human being so that he could be surrounded in this world of aliens. So, buckle up and get ready for a cosmic ride, because Nova is on his way. With a new TV show on the horizon, the Marvel Universe is about to get a whole lot bigger and brighter. In other DC news, brace yourselves because we've got some electrifying news. James Gunn, the mastermind behind the new DC Vision, has just given us a thrilling peek into the casting for the upcoming Lanterns TV show. That's right, the Lanterns are coming, and they're bringing some serious cosmic energy with them. Gunn recently shared some exciting news about the search for the stars who will embody two of the most iconic Green Lanterns, Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart. In a chat with Lex underscore Corp 14, Gunn revealed that he's been brainstorming with the creative geniuses Chris Mundy, Tom King, and Damon Lindelof about potential actors to fill these legendary roles. While no official casting announcements have been made just yet, rest assured that the perfect actors are on their way. The Lantern series is not just any show, it's set to be a crucial part of Chapter 1 of the DC Universe, blending elements of mystery and detective work akin to the gritty vibes of True Detective. Picture this, Hal Jordan, a seasoned Lantern legend, and Jon Stewart, a fresh recruit, team up to crack a dark, earth-based mystery involving a murder in the American heartland. Originally slated as a Max original, Lanterns will now shine brightly as an HBO original, with its first season spanning eight episodes. Expect a blend of action and intrigue as the series delves into the deep lore of the Green Lantern mythos. This show isn't just about flashy rings and intergalactic adventures, it's going to explore ancient horrors and connect to the broader tapestry of the DC universe. As we eagerly await more updates, one thing's for sure, the Green Lanterns are gearing up to make a monumental impact. So, keep your eyes peeled and your curiosity peaked, Lanterns is set to illuminate the DC universe like never before.